Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you're coming for the first time and if you are a returnee, you're still welcome. Thank you so much for returning and tuning into my channel and even believing in me when I don't have so many followers. So thank you, thank you so much. First time as I always love you guys so much. So today is going to be a skincare um day and I'm going to, I'm doing a video on how I make my black soap. Now this is like a special black soap because I added its um unique ingredients for the first time like koji caffeine, uh, rice powder, all the other alpha other things but like I kinda ran out of cash so I couldn't afford that. But then guys this soap is awesome. Um so um my story with black soap is that black soap really kind of changed the game for me when it comes to skincare and I've not quite experienced anything unique until I started using black soap and of course um, sometime last year I took some classes kind of learned how to upgrade and um, make my own black soap kind of uh, not just use the black soap pro like that add some green ingredients to upgrade it you know make it um better so before i made this soap i'm sure some of you that follow me on instagram will see i made a video of how i usually have breakout every month once it's approaching my period so guys so just excuse this post because the truth is if you have acne for skin i'm sure you can totally relate to this because um these things just come in. It doesn't mean the soap is not working. I'm telling you guys, I've used a lot of soap, so this works for me. But once my period is over, the acne begins to kind of um, disappear. As you can see, they have really, really like dried out. But then, because I touch my face a lot, it leaves a lot of scars on my face. But if you're someone that you don't touch your pimples, you see that you have a better um, blemish free skin. So, guys, this is what my soap looks like. What I do is, I've already had my bath, so I can't really do much now. What I do is basically to kind of take it, you know, put some water on my face, wash my face, and then use my hand to massage it into my skin and then I leave it on for depending like I don't really have something to me but I do more than that like if I'm watching a movie or I'm doing something on my phone and browsing or whatever open on my system I just take my time so when I'm ready I just go have my bath okay so this is it you know it's greenish and dark and I think it's because of all the ingredients I used I didn't use any fragrance I didn't use any preservative after making it I kept it for like three weeks yeah I've been up to three weeks since I need it before I use it it doesn't need to reach a week no basically but at least two or three days some people do one week before you start using it so this is what it looks like yeah so guys um stay tuned don't go anywhere if you go back so good okay so let's get into it so usually i do kind of heat my soap but today i want to do cold process guys please ignore my my fallen finger guys please <laughs> okay so um i'm going to I got this. I don't know why they don't buy plastics in white. And then the ones you see in black are hideous. They don't look nice at all. Like they don't stable my fancy. Anyway, so I got these bowls, plastic, simple. Then I got this um sieve that we used to sieve the powdery stuff. I really want this one to come out very smooth, no particles. So um I also got the wooden spoon, but I gave that to my sister and then I took the old one in the house. So I'll be using the wooden spoon to mix. So it's advisable not to use anything metal when you're making this. So everything I'm using is um either plastic or wooden. Alright, so I don't know how I'm going to do this with my nails, but let's try. Okay, um, I have here, um, this is, um, I try to avoid adding water so that I wouldn't use a preservative. So this is carrot, purple, and lemon and shea butter, melted. So I use lemon and shea butter to kind of create my liquid. So as you can see, um, very, very turned into the kind of paste I'd like to use. Then I have here my neem powder. I have my sun, okay, this is cinnamon. Okay, like I had to make this video because this is like my assorted, <laughs> Assorted soap. So this is avocado oil. Um, this is almond oil. Um, this is um, vegetable glycerin. This is my orange peel powder. Um, this is rice powder. I've never used rice powder koji seeds before, but I understand is a little bit of this, a little bit of that. This is um, this is red sandalwood. I understand there is another brown sandalwood, but then, um, <laughs> so I'm going to blend this. This is not going to go in like this. It's going to be pounded. But for this soap, I'm using very little soap. So I'm going to use only two. Then my, I kind of ran out of essential oil and more cash to buy anymore. So for this, I'm going to be using carrot oil. But for my soap and cream, because of acne, I really do like to add tea tree. But then I don't have tea tree right now. So I'm using this um, almond. They said it's bitter, bitter almond oil. Yeah. And this is um, carrot oil. So um, this is vitamin E capsules. I'm just going to use one or two capsules. Uh, yeah, these ones are not quite expensive, like um, 800, 500, depending on where you're buying. But these ones, hmm. now I know why organic soap and cream are expensive. Like these things, <laughs> I wanted to use alpha abutin, but then people, 10 mil of alpha abutin. Let me show you 10 mil so you understand what I mean. So guys, this is um, a cup for putting for drugs for children, right? I don't have this um, serum bottle or all those ones that you can use and put drops. So I usually use this. So this is, look at this. Can you see 10 mil? 
10 mil like this of half half thing is a thousand naira. So 30 mil, 3,000 naira. So I didn't even bother guys, okay? Um, I'm still working on it <laughs> when the time comes. But like if you order, you know, you're paying me for this definitely. I don't mind adding, but I understand it's a very good, um, well, lightning um, agent, but it's not bleaching, you know, just, just one ingredient that kind of will make your skin glow and look finer than, you know, regular soap and cream that you buy in the market. Okay, so this is, um, sandal, this is, what's this one again? Oh my God, I'm mixing them up. Oh, sorry, this is turmeric. So I just kind of bought a little of everything because I must tell you, I am not very buoyant right now. So these ones, I really had to get this much because they can't do lower than this. This is 30 mil. So I just had to get them in 30 mil so that like, I didn't have a choice really. But this, okay, um, this is sulfur. Oh my God, this red sandalwood. What is this one again? Okay, no, 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 this one. Guys, seriously, I've forgotten what this one is, but if I remember, I'll get back to you. Then my honey. Guys, are you seeing? So when you see a cup of um, soap and they say it's 4,000 naira, I understand. Then this is the black soap. This is the back of the whole thing <laughs> um i usually add this other yoruba type that is powder but like it makes my soap very black very black and just i don't know it's nice though it doesn't give me reaction but I, today i just want to use kind of black soap so everything i have here is within ten thousand naira. yes but then this soap i'm going to use it for probably throughout this year and into the next year i'm telling you guys so that's it okay um am i missing out on any ingredients i will get back so um i also got this um 100 grams of bentonite clay because uh, what do they call it? The one, the fancy one in a big container, Indian clay, blah blah blah. Every shop in Nigeria is six thousand, is eight thousand naira. My dear, some of us have used to play, so please. <laughs> I bought this from an organic skincare shop, and I just got hundred grams. And guys, I'm just going to use this at least for this year because you just need a little. You turn it into paste with water or apple cider vinegar, and you get a very amazing. Um, um, what do they call it again? Facial mask. Then other days, then you want to do do like DIY. There's numerous DIYs you can try to substitute for your face mask and still get amazing results. So guys, let's get into this soap making. Hope you're ready. <laughs> I could do this with my hand, but then, uh, because of my nails, it's, like, it's falling off, so I don't want the whole thing to fall off at the time I'm done, because I'm trying to fix them. But everything cold pressed today won't have more effects, you know, because heating really reduces, I uh, think, the quality of what you use most times. Even, even when you're cooking, a lot too much over boiling of things. Okay. It's way easier to manage when, when you boil it really. You see that now? So this blend, I will use it to cook. So I was careful enough not to add any chemical inside here. So what I have here is just things that are edible. And stashia butter is edible too. So this is, like I said earlier, purple, carrot, um, um, shea butter, and lemon, lemon water. Because I squeeze that with water out. And I need to get everything out. There's still so much more inside. So. Um, red sandals. Okay. So I borrowed this plate. It's broken, so I'm trying to avoid using anything that we cook with. So I'm just going to sieve all the powders together. <coughs> Great. Yes. Oh god, I don't have patience for this. Like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so um, guys, you have to be very careful not to put too much. So, this or the quantity of soap I'm making, usually, I really do make more than this. Yes, but because I'm trying on new, new ingredients, I don't want to make too much. So, I'm not putting too much. I'm even reduce this one. So, okay, so this is turmeric. Uh, 
I still want to see because I notice I get articles from turmeric. I'm going to see it. This one you should really not add much because it will turn your whole bathroom into yellow or orange, whatever color it gives you. So be careful not to add excess. Yeah, are you seeing all these particles? Well, um, in my experience, when it's, before I decided to do this, sometimes you know when you're, you feel this roughness, which I don't enjoy. So I really want to get them. Who else feels like it's a waste? Hmm? Do you feel like it's a waste? <laughs> Cinnamon. Hmm. I think one of the things I love this is this smell. It has a very nice smell. Ooh. I think this is what will make the cream smell really nice, as, aside the, the benefits. So think that this has been in our kitchens for so long and we totally ignored it, guys. We should start paying attention to what we are eating. <laughs> okay, so that will be that for cinnamon. And this is too much. This is from the orange peel. I don't feel like throwing it away. It looks like I'll add it. Maybe to be giving me that scrubby effect in the soap. I'll, I'll add it like that. It's uh, orange peel powder. Okay. Oh guys, uh, I can't remember, but I think this is brown um, sandalwood powder. Yeah, these things, there are too many of them, so if you're not careful, you just forget. Like, uh, my, my list is very small, because if you see the list of people that, oh my god, where I got these things, they have others of other people. My ingredient is small, but you know, I'm a minimalist in almost everything, so I don't like to overdo things. Like, guys, are you seeing? Like, I just thought about just sieving. I've never sieved my ingredients before. Everything, even the ones that are even turmeric, even the one that looked, even cinnamon, I still got something out. Wow. Which I forgot. This is milk. It's part of it. This is goat milk. It's just a regular milk in the house. Then I'm just going to take a spoon of this. Come. So I've not used palm oil before, but I hear it's very good. So I'm just going to take one spoon. I'm going in with the milk first. I believe the powder is really thick in these two spoons of milk. Is it two spoons? Yes. Two spoons of milk. Then, this is all the powder. It's like, um, I mentioned them now. When the camera went off, I added the koji and fried flour. I'm say, oh boy, I wanted to say fried rice. Um, yeah, the rice powder and the koji seed. I used like one spoon, one spoon of the koji seed and about two spoons of the rice powder. So, this is everything after it's been sieved. Okay. Okay, then um, before things get messy, I'm going to just go in with the oils because once you start mixing now, like, uh, oh my god, this is like the last of the carrot oil. I really need to. Is there anything? Is it not oil? I'm seeing this. Guys, oh my god, oh my god. Great, I'll cut it off. Um, okay, still have our oil. Looks like I'll be using only this essential oil. Looks like it's the only one available. Who's Mary? Go to that. You hurry. I thought you were. I use five meal. I always use like five meal for my oils. Everything is really in little quantity. Okay. For the vegetable glycerin, I think I'm going to go in with ten meal. So guys, um, to find out the uses of all this, just probably Google it because like I don't think I can start narrating everything. But this this is just basically good for acne prone skin, like all this stuff, you know. For those of you that don't have acne prone skin. Don't have a problem with um but the oils I don't really have mercy on them because they are just oils. I feel we will go in a ten mil avocado oil. Hmm. Okay. This is almond oil. Almond oil is really good for I'll probably still use this in my soap, in my cream rather. Very good for um, light skin. Um then I'm going to add two capsules of vitamin C. Yes, that's it. Give me that scissors. Zoom in. I'm just going to cut that back up and then. Okay, so final, final. Honey. Honey is very good. So I'm not going to pity this one. I'm going to add like three spoons. Is that the last? 
So um, I noticed my carrot oil finished, so I just you know these ones are essential oils. These ones are carrier oils. So guys, for the records, I did I used to do this on my own self taught things before, but then I did a training on some of these things. I'm not yet perfect, like I don't know what all of them, the role they play, but I know they are good, and I know like if I look for the resources, like to get um to know their uses and stuff like that, they are just you know it's gone through away. So don't be like I'm doing I'm just doing this maybe based on um YouTube videos or whatever. Okay, so that's the last of my sandalwood oil as well. So I usually use this Hermani product with affordable other essential oils going to these things. You know that they are quite expensive. So I use Hermani oil and then, then these other regular ones. Okay guys, I've put in everything. So let's get to see. Can see? Yeah, it's, it's thicker now. Yes. Hmm. I'm so excited to show you the effect of this soap. Can you see how little? Okay guys, so this is... Just um, the stuff has not really finished now. Okay? So, just a little on the sponge, and you're good to go. That's why I use it for. Wow, 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 wow. Let me see. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright. Okay. okay, guys, next time I'm, I'm doing heat again, please, because the heat melts it, and you don't have to go through all this stress of counting. No wonder some people use mortar. I've not done cold press before. So, um, well, what um, will happen is, I'm just going to put it like that, but over time it's going to melt and mix up together. Okay, so my containers are ready. Let me show this one. So, let's start dishing this sumptuous meal. Body food. Now this soap is good for the face. I wouldn't trade this for any face scrub, except I bought it. Uh, except it's organic. Because of the kind of skin I have. Okay, this is the third one. Okay. Now. 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. What it looks like. All these are more than 250 grams. They are all more than 250 grams of soap. So, I'm going to keep them for like one week while I just finish up on my soap I have already. But then, we'll see what it is like then. I've been using black soap for about three years. Three. Can you see that? So, I have these three. This, um, the quantity I made came in these three. Like, guys, this soap will be enough for me for till next year like probably till this time next year i think so so there's no preservative um what i do sometimes when i have a lot of soap when i make it like this i put some in the fridge i have to tie it off because so it doesn't mess up other things in the fridge i have to tie it i also use these containers that i they're like um, from this from Cantu, you know because i noticed these containers are quite expensive in the market so when i use a product this is also from a hair product so let's see how it looks usually when you buy something black soap of this quantity from Organic skincare service, it goes from 4,000, 6,000, 7,000, seriously, depending on what they use. I'm serious, I don't blame them because in my experience, I've noticed that the ingredients are quite expensive. So you'll see all the details in the description, but as much as I can give, I try to buy everything in bits because I'm not selling, right? I buy in bits and just use what I need. So if you if you are selling, yeah, you can go overboard and get as much product as you can. But if you're not selling, if you're doing it for yourself, you know, just the basics are all you need. So guys, like, look at my skin, right? I look at my hands. I don't even feel like my hands are lighter, right? Forgive my nails. I just did it so they are nasty. <laughs> so this is the first time I'm filming a video and it's it's successful. I've done a lot of videos in the past, guys, and I love them. And um, this is also the first time I'm sharing. I think to me it's something um, of a higher quality on YouTube. So guys, I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to give the thumbs up, share, subscribe, and also try and follow me on my social media sites because I'll link the link below. I got this from the left, this from the right. Pull up in the rose with a bad chica. Hey man, I'm on a god at you. I'm a pocket looking gigantic. No sales, I never got if you like this video, don't forget to follow your girl, subscribe, we share, tell your friends guys, help me grow, like, I've had this page for like 2 or 3 years, and like, nothing is happening here, I'm trying to make something happen now, so guys, please help me grow, let me reach 1,000, please, we can do this, we can do this, and then follow me on Twitter, at the beginning, Instagram, at this time, my Facebook page, at this time, my blog at the beauty of the future so I'll leave all the links in the way you get let's go leave me your comments and questions and also tell me what other videos you like to see. 